Jill, welcome to Sweet Art Made Simple. And today you're not gonna believe how is easy this recipe is to make a cherry chocolate cake. It's just one chocolate cake mix, a can of cherries, and three eggs, and that's it. You could possibly add some almond extract, but that's it. And then I'm gonna show you this wonderful way to decorate to make it a delicious dessert cake for your holidays. Let's get started. This recipe is crazy easy. It's only three ingredients. It's just a chocolate box of cake mix, a can of cherry pie filling with about 21 ounces, and three eggs. The cherry filling you usually find in your baking section at the grocery store. Then I'm gonna show you my right way method by decorating it with a chocolate frosting buttercream that I'll have on the link below and some adornment. So I'm using chocolate covered almonds, but you could do chocolate covered cherries and then some different chocolate pieces just to make it fun and more delicious. So let's get started. So this is the cake. I baked two eight inch cakes. Remember it was just three ingredients. It was the chocolate cake, the cake mix, the cherry filling and three eggs. And now we're gonna get it frosted. I went ahead and crumb coated it. Um, crumb coating is just taking the frosting that we're using, uh, putting a very thin layer and then sticking actually in the refrigerator for just a little bit so it sets. That way all the filling, because I have a cherry filling inside, I just took some of these cherry preserves, put some of the chocolate around it, um, and then put a little bit of cherry so when you cut into it, you get that really pretty red ribbon of cherry as well. This is gonna be a great dessert cake for the holidays or just a night that you just need a lot of chocolate. <laughs> and if you love cherries, it's even better. So what I'm doing is I'm just icing around the sides. I always have my favorite little spatula, but you can use a knife or a spatula. They sell uh, great spatulas in the cake decorating section of most craft stores. And then also at kitchen uh, aisles at most stores actually have these nice straight edge spatulas. So I'm just gonna go around the side. Now I also filled some of this chocolate buttercream, which I put the link to this buttercream down below. I filled a bag with a number 18 tip. <clears throat> That's what I'm gonna decorate using my right way method. I'm gonna do some E's and some C's on top of the cake. All right, so I'm just gonna kinda of go around. As you can see, I have this wheel here that makes it easy to turn but if you don't have that, you'll just have to kind of stop and turn as you go. All right, now using my tip that I have here, I'm just gonna go around and do some real easy U's. You can kind of see it when it comes around. That little sputtering sound means there's air in my bag, but that's okay. All right, now I'm going to do some Let's do some ease on the top. I'm going to be putting some chocolate almonds on the top. Almonds and cherries um, actually go really well together. And I'm going to do some little C's in the center. I'll show this to you when I'm all done. Okay, so if you can see how it looks up on top, like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my leftover cherries and I'm just gonna kinda of stick them in the part where I didn't decorate. It's getting even more. Now you could put, um, I always have different ideas even though I'm not doing it, just to give you other ideas. You could put some shaved chocolate on here. Um, you could do white chocolate or dark chocolate. Um, you know, if it's Christmas, you could do white chocolate shavings and oh wow, that'd be so pretty like a Christmas or a holiday cake, winter cake. I'm gonna just stick those on top of there. And then I'm just going to adorn it with some more chocolate. <laughs> just when you thought you didn't have enough chocolate. All right, isn't that pretty? So I'm gonna take some Reese's. These aren't Reese's, these are Hershey Kisses. I just decorated a cake with Hershey's Reese's yesterday. All right, and now I've got some chocolate almonds that I'm going to put on every part where I, so everyone gets a little piece when they actually cut into the cake. Isn't this pretty? So this is a pretty simple cake to make, 
people just won't even believe it when you show them that you made this. Um, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to put them below and I'll get to you as soon as I can. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.